when you talk about that mind chatter, obviously given what you feel comfortable, but because I imagine that the sort of thoughts that yeah. you had are the exact same sorts of thoughts that other young men have, because there's only really a limited, sure. the majority of young people, yeah. majority of people experience same. the same uh, mm -hmm. negative chatter. And there's obviously a degree of variation, but the bulk of it is often the same, especially sort of from a, a demographical point of view. I think um, increasingly more and more nowadays yeah. as we're becoming sort of homogenized by our group identity, which is which is not a good thing ultimately. But what sort of things were going through your mind within sort of reason that you're comfortable talking about? Because I'm very interested actually. In yeah, that. no, of course. Yeah, so, and again, it's a lot of, in the in the moment i was very much just not even with it come the end i was just wake up feel awful just pure negativity you even start to fuel it like you're the and again this is something that i had no idea about and i kind of would obviously you hear about people being depressed anxious um at that age and 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 there's like a stereotype with it, like they don't clean their room, they don't, they listen to a certain type of music. Uh, you don't, you be, start to not look after yourself. And I was just like, I would always be just ignorant to it, just unaware, and just be a bit like, oh yeah, of course. Like it's almost like a stereotype. But even the music started to change. The these things did start to change. But uh, so I'm trying to think back to what I was really thinking. It was, it was like a. I guess I was comparing myself to others, and I was just feeling like a like a failure and and yeah. the thoughts that were going through my head I, I, it was a while ago now but it was i guess it was just like i'm not good enough type of thing like what was it that other people i'm not had good enough that you hadn't achieved what do you mean yeah exactly so it yeah i don't i just that's the funny thing it's like you were i was 19 so it was like yeah. what were you expecting to have achieved but back then you're just it's just i was irrational it was just different and it, yeah and I, I don't know it's hard to to understand it like i was just not feeling i was just not feeling good i just had something inside me that just was not i didn't feel stable i just didn't feel how i once did um mm. and obviously part of it was just being it was co the coronavirus so like i you're not socializing you're not my habits weren't as good like i wasn't i didn't have anything to do as such like a meaning um and that really affected me it was like a spiral of all these things and then um yeah the obviously the alcohol thing i didn't really realize how much that crept in and how quickly that became like a thing so I think, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm no, I don't, I, I don't really, it was like a feeling uh, of not being good enough. And then obviously once you're in this state, like you're then just in a, I just felt like very uneasy, very like, I just didn't feel good. I, I was, yeah, I was just struggling basically in, in all, all ways mentally. Yeah, no, I, I get you. It, when you, when you become an adult, your frame of your sort of paradigm of the world begins to change because you have to leave childhood behind and you you sort of the the structures that used to prop you up are becoming sort of decreasingly there and and you'll feel more and more isolated and on your own and that can be both empowering if it's utilized and funneled in the right way but also exceptionally sort of what's the word disheartening and troublesome yeah. because you think oh dear i'm on my own what do i what do i do and especially yeah. as like a as a as a young man it's it's so so hard nowadays you you've got so many different aspects it's hard being a young person in general and i i don't just mean in the sense of yeah i do genuinely think it's harder now in a lot of ways and we obviously we have more you know we have exceptional sort of privilege and, and uh sort of decadence and ability to just do things that like our parents 
probably couldn't just fly around halfway around the world and go, I'm going to live in Sri Lanka now for six months. Yeah. I mean, maybe they could, maybe it's yeah. before the generation before, but with all that growth and improvement is going to inevitably bring downfalls and drawbacks and, and things like that. And when you sort of, I remember when I, it was about 19 that I started, I mean, I, I had mental health, particularly anxiety growing up through my entire life as long as I can remember. Mm. So it was, it was slightly different, I suppose. But when you sort of hit 19 and you, you become aware of your position in the sort of male hierarchy and you think, oh, well, that's where that, that little voice in your head starts to grow. And it really, they say that comparison is the thief, of, is the thief of, yeah. thief of joy. And it's absolutely true. Absolutely. And it is, it, it's more than the thief of joy. It's, it's like this sort of cycloptic being that doesn't can't see anything other than what it's telling you and and what it perceives to be the case that other people are doing and it, it, it when you look at other people's lives we all tend to dismiss the possible negatives of their lives and hone in on yeah things and which is ironically something that we don't do with ourselves. We tend to dismiss the good things and hone on the negative things. And that, that can be... Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So I suppose, what do you think you've changed in your mental outlook 